Hey gang, Trevor here with Breaking Muscle. What I'm talking about today is visualization. I've had a number of coaches over the year, over the years, both in sports and martial arts, that have said, visualize your game before you play it, or visualize your match before you have it, or visualize a lift before you perform it. And I would always go home, close my eyes, and start thinking about my race, or start thinking about the fight, and about two seconds in, I'm gonna be wondering, what's on TV tonight, what should I have for dinner, my visualization has completely gone off track. One of the things that I found helped the most was instead of just trying to close my eyes and see it happen in front of me, was to act it out. Now this may sound hokey and it may look a little funny in a full gym if you're walking around throwing punches and kicks, but if you're in, the, in your own house or somewhere where you don't care what people think, it's a really, really good exercise. For fighters, it's fantastic. I would always think that the middle of a match is undeterminable. You never know what your opponent's going to do, so you don't know how he's going to react. However, you do know how the match is always going to start, and you always want to have a picture of how it's going to end. So instead of worrying about all the mumbo jumbo in the middle, I would always close my eyes and think about walking out and touching gloves, and then going from there. And I would do that over and over and over again, so that when the time came to actually walk, walk out and touch gloves, I wasn't as nervous, because I'd already had that happen. Then at the end, you want to visualize how you want to finish. Are you going to be submitting? Are you going to be finishing with strikes? Close your eyes and go through that motion a hundred times as well. And that will help it sear itself into your brain so that when the opportunity presents itself, you're going to capitalize. Now how about CrossFitters and how about other athletes? Yes, we can visualize the start of any workout and the end of any workout, but where this is really important is with lifting. So same principle applies. If this is my my press PR, and I've never gotten this over my head before, I'm not going to worry about what's going to happen all the way through here. What I'm going to do is pretend that I have the bar in my hands right before I lift, take my deep breath, and think about position one and the end position locking it out. So a lot of times before I lift, I'll actually come up, close my eyes, and think, lock that out of the top. Lock that out of the top. And then what do you know, when I've got 75 huge heaping hands and pounds in my hand, boom, it goes right up. The end is very important. We can also, a lot of times coaches can tell whether an athlete's going to make a lift or not with how they approach the bar. If you've done a little bit of mental work beforehand and thought your way through the beginning process of the lift, you're going to be a lot more successful. So, fighters. Think about how you're walking out to touch gloves. Think about how you're walking out to shake hands. And then think about how you're finishing. Crossfitters and lifters, think about the initial part. How does the bar feel in your hands? And what does it feel like, boom, to get that last little press out at the end? Give these a try. We'll see you next week.